Hey everyone, Ken Cannon here again from Living in Chapel Hill, the channel that helps you learn all about why Chapel Hill is the coolest town to live in in North Carolina. Now today we're gonna to be talking about something a little bit different. If you're not thinking about moving here, but you're still planning on here and coming for a visit, we're gonna be talking about the must-see things that you must check out next time you're here in Chapel Hill. So we're gonna check them out right now, but before we do, if you're thinking about moving to Chapel Hill, or even if you're just coming for a visit and you'd like to learn more about the area, reach out to our team. We'd be happy to help answer any questions for you. Also, be sure to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for more new videos. All right, let's do it. Welcome to Living in Chapel Hill, the channel that's dedicated to helping you learn what it's like to live, work, and play in the coolest town in North Carolina. I'm your host, Ken Cannon, and this is Living in Chapel Hill. Welcome back everyone. Today we're talking about the things that you must see in Chapel Hill the next time that you're here. Even if you're just coming for a short visit, there's awesome things for you to check out and we're gonna name a few of them today. One of the things Chapel Hill is known for is its, its many iconic locations. We've got a state university here in town, uh, UNC Chapel Hill, that's over 200 years old. The campus is gorgeous. It's got these um, this beautiful red brick quad area with these mature trees in it that just is very peaceful, serene walk. Along with the university, we've got iconic sports places like the Dean Dome, um, where Carolina basketball hails from. We have Keenan Stadium, where they uh, have the football matches. There are iconic businesses on, um, you know, very picturesque Franklin Street, uh, which is a great place to go just for a stroll. There's many restaurants, cafes, ice cream, that sort of thing. There's Carolina Coffee Shop, which I think is one of the oldest businesses um, in town. It's definitely over 100 years old. You can walk up and down that street. Parking can be a little bit of a bear, but, um, but the, the walking up and down that street, especially on a beautiful day, is just incredible. So iconic locations are definitely something this town has to offer. Uh, another thing you can check out while you're in town are the array of walking tours. Uh, whether you want to look at historic buildings, you want to uh, get a, a more campus-focused walking tour, you can even do a food-based walking tour that allows you to sample some of the many great restaurants, uh, tastes we have here in town, which we truly have some incredible restaurants. So if you are coming into town, make sure you book a, at least a dinner or a lunch or a breakfast or something. Make sure you try what we have to offer because we've got some really great stuff here. All right, the next thing, and I love this about our town, is the amount of live music that you can check out. We've got great venues from the Cat's Cradle, which is over 50 years old. It's been bringing uh, both um, big name touring acts and supporting local musicians here for you know over five decades, so that's awesome. We also have the local 506, we have the Cave, we have uh, Nightlife, there's all sorts of, depending on, there's um, jazz clubs, whatever you're into, you can find a place to find live music. And between the music program at the university and just the local talent that's here, there's you, you you don't have to go far to see just incredible musicianship so as a musician myself i love that about our town so be sure to check out the live music if you're into street art chapel hill and carborough both have a, a broad awesome collection of murals going on at different spots so you could even do a walking tour based on just mural spotting there's some great local artists that have some uh, great pieces all around town um, i encourage you to see how many you can you can spot on your trip Unique shopping. So one of the great things about Franklin Street are the neat little boutique shops that we have down there. One of the most famous ones is uh, Julian's, which has been there for a very long time. It's a men's clothing store, custom tailored men's clothing. Uh, very much a, its own style, its own very specific style, but it grows well with the university that's here. Those two have, have really kind of um, kept their aesthetic. In fact, I think Carolina basketball team uses a Julian's design for their uh, for their jerseys. So um, definitely a connection there. If that's your style, you're gonna love that shop, but there's also other great shops on Franklin Street and all around town, really. If you venture over to Carbro, there's some more quirky, um, eccentric style shops, but uh, and more, like I said, boutique stuff downtown um, Chapel Hill.
I mentioned this one before, but one of the things that I think is really worth its own category is the food scene that we have here in Chapel Hill and the Carbo area. Even the Triangle area as a whole, there's some incredible restaurants in Raleigh, there's some incredible restaurants in Durham, um, but yeah, but just here in Chapel Hill and Carbo alone, we have some amazing restaurants. I have clients that come in from um, all cities, cities all over the country, and they're blown away by the, by the tastes and the quality of restaurants that we have here. So it's definitely something I would build into your trip when you come. Make sure um, you get your reservation ahead of time because a lot of good restaurants do fill up fast and you don't want to be waiting, you know, an hour or two for a table when you're only here for a limited time. Um, I, back in my younger days, I had worked in uh, many of these restaurants in Chapel Hill and I can tell you that the, the quality of, um, and the quality and the love that goes into the food industry here and the service industry is not like is, is unlike anything I've seen anywhere else. The the people who are in the industry care about what they're doing. They put a lot of heart, energy, and and um, passion into uh, the food that they create here, and it really shows. So definitely recommend checking out the great restaurants that we have here. All right. If outdoor spaces are your thing, we have some incredible outdoor spaces here as well. We have uh, the Botanical Garden, we have uh, Coker Arboretum, which is um, five acres on campus of um, just mature trees and benches. It's a nice relaxing place to sit amidst the hustle bustle of campus. Um, I forget the acreage of the uh, Botanical Garden, but it's, that's a quite, nice, quite a nice walk as well, especially on a beautiful day in the spring after maybe some of the pollen has gone away and but things are still in bloom and there's a sweet spot for really getting over there and seeing things. Um, if you're into mountain biking, we have great local trails, just kind of in all different aspects, all areas of town. Um, there's running trails, there's, um, there's a river walk in Hillsboro that you can go check out. There are just a lot of great outdoor spaces around here. And while it does get hot in the summer, we get a lot of nice days here where being outside is uh, really tolerable and enjoyable and uh, worthwhile. So worth checking out while you're here. Well, there you have it. We've talked about some of the awesome things that you must see the next time that you're in Chapel Hill. And whether you come in for a visit or you're thinking about moving to the area, if you have any questions at all, I highly encourage you to reach out to me or my team here at the contact information that's provided below. We would love to help you find a place if that's what you're looking for, or you just have some questions about the area and want to know what to check out and what, what to avoid while you're here. Give us a shout. We'd be happy to talk. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and stay tuned for next video coming next week on here on Living in Chapel Hill. Take care, bye.